for a while, um, I couldn't wear khakis. They were so blockbuster specific. The blue shirt and the, um, the khakis. God, I'm fascinated. Is this going well? Hi, my name is John Cho, and these are my essentials. Okay, uh, glasses. This year, I need reading glasses. I was walking by a Warby Parker and got these ordered inside of 15 minutes. And I'm glad I got the real deal. Then you need sunglasses, and these are Garrett Light. It's sunny in LA, so they're a necessity. On the other hand, I was just thinking recently, like, is this a scam that we all uh, bought into? Uh, when I was a kid, I never had sunglasses, and, and I was outside all day. But now I feel like I need them. My face feels naked without them. And if you start getting used to uh, your face with them, then it becomes suddenly uh, uh, preposterous to go outside without them. I try my best to take care of them, uh, but uh, they're like children I've abused. At some point, they leave you in anger. <laughs> all right, books. Uh, this is all stuff I brought on the airplane. So I read this on the way here. Even if you're a movie person, at minimum, take off and landing, you need something to read. This is Parker Posey's memoir that I just read called You're on an Airplane, which I read on the plane. And I happened to be in it, and you see what Parker did. She sent me a copy with my name highlighted because she knows I'm an egomaniac. Yeah, I don't always finish books. And that's okay. Uh, it's not homework. I f don't finish a lot of movies either. If I'm half an hour in and um, I don't care, then uh, I've given myself permission to uh, parachute out. We start with the, the glasses. And now the books, I'm starting to feel like an old man. Get off my lawn, kids. Like most human beings on planet Earth, I need um, music. And these are my favorite. They're so, they're super balanced. This is really soft if you're going across an ocean. Any little thing that bothers you will bother you a lot after 10 hours. Yeah, these are corded, but I bring the uh, Bluetooth pods and I just find these are great for a walk or workout, not having the cords and also taxi rides and subway rides. I don't know if I have large ear holes, but I had to put the black foam on them to make them stick. Um, but other than that, it's just incredibly convenient. Particularly for planes, I'm getting into toothpicks. <laughs> These mint tea tree toothpicks. They're good for loitering on street corners as well and bullying children because it makes you look tough. <laughs> My mouth feels like ass uh, about 45 minutes in to any flight. I wonder if there's like some, we primates, when we don't feel great, we chew on bark to uh, feel more grounded. Yeah, I like to derive pleasure through my mouth. <laughs> Another essential is a pen. Uh, kids, you can't write everything on um, your phone. Uh, this is a fountain pen, which I found pretty recently in Winnipeg. Writing is very pleasurable on this. Now when you go to a, like a cheap pen, it feels like you're writing on sandpaper. It feels like there's a lot more friction than there is, and this is so smooth. On a plane, you're gonna get asked to fill out those immigration forms, and they don't give pens out anymore. So you're gonna have to borrow one from somebody, unless you're the smarty pants like me. He brought his own pen. There we go. I think I got this at Sundance, and I actually didn't know what it was. It's a huge battery, and uh, when traveling, you can get down on the phone juice real fast. So always pack this and uh, make sure it's powered up the night before. It's called Hue. You know, I just wish that this could connect to the laptop. Do you know of the uh, if they make those? They do. Oh, they do. This is my phone. We have a complicated relationship. I turned off Siri. I, f I was recently told that Siri listens to you and makes advertising suggestions. I dislike that about her. So I uh, broke up with her. But you know, there's games, there's the social media, there's, uh, there's the email. 18,317 unread emails. Isn't that good? Need a hat. My hair isn't always this perfect. I also got this from the city in the country of Canada called Winnipeg. And Middle Province is supposed to be Manitoba. And I just thought it was a poetic 
phrase. I was uh, strictly into um, repping Los Angeles for a while. And I particularly liked going to other cities and repping LA on my head. People who are transplanted here from New York or Boston or Chicago and living in Los Angeles for 35 years and still going, socks, go socks. And I'm like, give it up. You're an Angelino. You have to come to grips with your own life situation. This is um, my hair stuff. My barber is, um, is from Hawaii. He just sent me home with this. It is a paste that's like super strong and um, because our hair is so wiry, now it's sort of the only thing I use. It's super strong. Boom, it's dry, it goes in, it's gone. And his little heart says peace. Uh, another essential. I still use this old uh, laptop because it has a, a DVD drive. And even though I use it less and less, I'm still, I'm hanging on. They still send screeners in, in that form, although it's moving towards digital and giving you codes and stuff, it's still, still handy dandy to have one of these. As a reminder, essentials, and this is all the travel stuff because this is what I have with me. Um, but I got this bag because I used to be a backpack guy and I was putting it underneath the seat in front of me as they instruct you to do, which left not enough room for my feet. So uh, I got this, which has a pretty uh, narrow profile and it can go underneath your thighs, that area. And it also stands up. You can just reach in. It has a zipper on top. And instead of having to do this, you can even just reach in through the top. It's in the same compartment. And uh, this is supposed to be a camera bag and it comes with these modular uh, dividers for your lenses by Peak Design. But I took those out. It's made traveling a lot uh, easier. Hot talk, again. Thank you for watching. I hope your life has been nourished by this information. I hope you leave this video loving me more. <laughs>